Welcome to Tips and Tricks videos. We are going to look at the Add Modify Elements feature. It can be found on each of the tool sets, wall, floor and roof. It empowers you to quickly place additional elements to your frames. Let's explore possible options here. We can begin by adding an additional blocking element. Every time you are using the Add Additional Elements commands, pay attention to the bottom left corner. It provides information about the next step. In this case, we need to select two vertical studs, between which the horizontal element will be placed. Here we can modify additional element settings. We can use short noggings, which means that our blocking element will be split by each intersecting stud. Otherwise, it will be created as a continuous element that goes through the studs. Furthermore, I will change the element type, rotation, and I'll position it on the interior side of the wall. Since I'm not splitting this element by studs, let's adjust extend start and end positions and cut types, so the element will be cut into the studs. Down below, we can change its position. Let's create the desired offset from the bottom of the wall, and if you want to create more than one element, we can change the number of elements and spacing between them. As a result, we have two blocking elements created that are not being split, have extensions at the start and end, and also they are cutting the studs. Let's see another example. This time I'll add short elements that will be split by the studs and aligned with another line based element. I'll change short knockings option to split blocking at each intersecting stud, its rotation and its position to center. In this example, we won't be extending the ends of the blocking element and we will not be using cuts. Now, we can select a line based element as a reference and I'll pick a window header. Notice that distances are automatically changed. In addition, we can add offsets from our reference element if needed. For this example, I'll leave it at zero. As a result, we have two blocking elements perfectly aligned with the header. If you need to adjust your additional elements, you can modify them and it will bring you back to the settings menu. Let's modify this blocking element and add an additional item that would be positioned at the exterior side of the wall. We can change its rotation, position and align type to previous start. Also we can change extends and cut types. Now we can adjust the number and spacing once again and the effect will be seen immediately, resulting in modified additional elements. To delete additional elements, use the delete additional elements command instead of the native Revit feature, otherwise the element will appear after the update frame is utilized. We can also add vertical elements to our frame, that could be additional studs vertical blocks and support studs. When you want to place additional studs, you need to select a vertical element within your frame. In the dialog window, pick direction from the reference element, which can be a selected stud, start or end of wall, or even external element. In this example, I am going to add an additional stud that will be placed by 300 mm offset to the right of the selected stud. And also, let's add more than one stud with the spacing between them of 200 mm. Now, we have placed two additional studs, but notice that blocking elements and studs do not intersect properly. To fix it, you can update the frame or you can untick the box of short update in your modify settings tab of framing configurations, and the frame will be updated automatically after the additional elements are inserted resulting in proper intersections between stats and blocking elements. Vertical blocks are similar to stats. The difference is that they can be pre-assembled, allowing them to get different mark values than regular stats. Therefore, they can have separate tagging, schedules or even shop drawings. Let's place a vertical block with no offset of selected stud, so vertical block will replace common stud since they collide. And also, let's tick pre-assembled option. As you can see, 
they have framing member mark value module and they are pre-assembled which allows them to be tagged and scheduled separately. Additional support studs are added between two horizontal framing elements, for example, bottom plate and a blocking element. The placement of the support stud is measured from the nearest existing stud to the right if you're looking at the exterior face of the wall, or you can select a line-based element as a reference once again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in upcoming videos.